Hello guys, and let's talk about something really beautiful today. About how we managed to sink Russian missile boat Ivanovitz in the Black Sea tonight. Okay, let's not downplay Ukrainian achievements and try to summarize together how a country without fleet managed to destroy almost all Russian Black Sea fleet. This is an important achievement based on Ukrainian creativity and your support. And let me tell you more about the beauty of this operation in the video. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda, fake news and their warships in the peaceful waters of Ukrainian Black Sea. And my long-time friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. So in the morning, we woke up to some really good news, learning that Russian missile boat Ivanovets sank. And not just sank, it exploded a number of times to make this moment memorable. This is a missile boat capable of carrying missiles, anti-ship missiles that can fly 130 kilometers. And as the beauty of the explosion demonstrates, it was actually carrying these missiles and they really quickly detonated. So Ivanovets was in the Lake Donoslav, which is a saltwater bay in the western part of uh, Crimea, Ukraine. And Ukrainian drones noticed it and decided it's a good and legitimate target. Uh, the ship noticed that and tried to escape, but failed, because Russia always fails. This is their national attitude. And uh, in general, boats are faster than uh, naval drones, but Ukrainian naval drones are smarter than Russian boats. And we targeted the engine department, which exploded, started burning, then missiles detonated, and the ship sank in the waters of the Ukrainian lake Donoslav in the western part of Ukrainian Crimea, joining a huge fleet, underwater fleet of Russian warships and missile boats upgraded to submarines. These are beautiful news and later Russian telegram channels stated that rescue and search operation was unsuccessful, just as all Russian special military operations turned to be unsuccessful. And now we see another successful special military operation, but all of Ukraine already inside Russian Federation, something that was impossible to imagine two years ago. Remember to subscribe to demonstrate your solidarity and see Russia defeated. So, this is another achievement, another member of the dying out Russian fleet that in general escaped already to the Russian side of the Black Sea where it actually belongs. Because of the explosions, because of the destruction of their air defense systems by Ukrainian forces, they cannot keep warships or anything in the waters. You see, we don't need grain deal anymore and Ukraine guarantees trade and movement through the Black Sea, which makes me very, very proud of us. And remember, we've also destroyed their headquarters in Sevastopol, potentially neutralizing Admiral Sokolov. Um, anyway, how is it possible? That's the question that I sometimes ask myself, because we don't have fleet. Uh, we were heavily, if it's possible to say so, demilitarized and unarmed during 30 years of all we renewed independence. But we are creative and, you know, this is our motherland that we are protecting. So in October, if I'm not mistaken, 2022, the first purely drone operated naval destruction of a Russian ship happened. And it was a breakthrough because naval drones... I'm not sure they existed. And in November 2022, uh, Ukrainian Ministry of Digital Transformation, together with Platform 20, United 24, uh, started um, the development of the Ukrainian Naval Drones Fleet. Uh, I know many of you heard about the United 24 platform. You support lots of these initiatives and they also have a really good YouTube channel. So you have to check and subscribe and support them because 
they create beautiful things with the investment of less than three million dollars for the development of these naval drones uh, we've managed to destroy russian ships missile boats and other naval stuff for the price of one billion already one billion guys and this reminds us again that ukraine is a perfect investment if you want to live in a safe and democratic world and we always very carefully spend every uh coin and that's an illustration ivanovitz is underwater um and it's actually another like genius example how really cheap drones are capable of destroying huge russian machines something similar will happen on this state level small in comparison to federation but extremely um, dynamic and open and quickly learning ukraine will destroy a disastrous dying out monster which is a mixture of like a Frankenstein of Russian Empire and Soviet Union and all the other cows. And I believe that sometime soon all of these peoples now trapped inside Federation will break through. Don't be afraid of that. And there are videos on the channel that explain uh, to you why the dissolution of Russia is not a danger, but actually a solution. Thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you for buying me coffees and becoming my patrons. I'm honored to have you in my uh, life. Remember to subscribe to my Instagram, Threads, Twitter, and Discord. And also remember to subscribe to United24 and uh, give me ideas for the next videos in the comments below. But most importantly, thank you for your support of my country, Ukraine. Slava Ukraini!